What's going on guys, welcome back to another video by myself Fallacy. In today's video it's going to be a really short one, but for everyone on controller this is going to be a very important video for you guys and it's going to be very overpowered so make sure to watch the end of this video. Basically what this tutorial will show you is how to reset on controller or scroll reset. So just like this on keyboard and mouse where you can go flick and reset, just do it really quickly. You can now do this on controller as well so I'm going to take you through how to do that. So as you guys know I normally play on keyboard and mouse but for controller this is actually crazy. <laughs> you can see I really quick reset and it's pretty much insane i'm going to show you guys the steps of how to do it it's really quick so first of all you want to click the link in my bio it will take you over to this and all you have to do here is press go to site and you'll see in the bottom of my screen anti-micro will come up and you just want to get this in your folder so you want to go and when it's done show in folder right so first of all before you get into anything you have to do this on fortnite as well so you want to go over to the keyboard and mouse section which is right here then you want to find where your edit button is or where your edit bind is so reset building edit i put that as mouse wheel down you want to do the exact same thing as i've done there so i'll make a scroll wheel reset basically and so you can do this and then building edit i've put that as mouse wheel down as well so you can see that just to be sure that's on both key binds now once you confirm that what you can do you can actually go over to your desktop and when you download you should have an app there that says anti-micro but i deleted it off my desktop when you open it up you'll see this screen over here and if i press any button on my controller you'll see that it could pretty much be any of these buttons but what i've done because i don't actually play controller and don't really care i've gone for button three which is circle on ps4 controller whichever button you want or whatever your button is that you want to edit with you just click on that with a mouse and it'll come up with this first of all you just want to go onto advanced and then you want to go into turbo and you want to make sure this is enabled tick it and then normally it'll be around here you want to drag this all the way to the left and make it 0.02 seconds and close once you do that you need to go over to your mouse and for me it's scroll wheel down so when you put it on the key binds on fortnite this is why so you click on scroll wheel down and now if you go back to your game you'll see here when i go on controller that i can have a quick reset just like that my frames are really low i don't know why but you can see that really quick reset it's pretty cool one thing i did forget to mention is if you close this as well and you want to actually save your layout for when you ever go back onto your pc uh, you want to make sure it'll say new up here but i've changed it to go to on the sticks because that's what i am when it goes on new you want to go on that and when it's highlighted you want to press save now you can save that wherever you want on your pc and it should save anyway guys that's just about it for this video it was a really quick one like i told you guys so make sure to follow those steps click the link in my bio go look at that link also a quick disclaimer is i don't know if this is actually applicable to use yet or if it's actually against the terms of service of epic games or fortnite so i don't recommend going into a competitive match using this until i can confirm that it is with you guys with that being said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing this in a creative match just with your friends. Or if you guys do want to take the risk, feel free to take the risk uh, in an actual game. Because people might just think that you're on uh, keyboard and mouse, just doing scroll wheel set on keyboard and mouse instead. So you might not get reported for that, but something to do with epic games may interfere. So just be very careful of what you do. If you guys are new around here, whether you found me from YouTube or Instagram and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to slap that subscribe button. And also, if you want to see these videos before anyone else to get that competitive advantage over your opponents, make sure to turn those notifications on. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like as well because that lets me know that you guys do enjoy these videos and find them helpful. But anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.